What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing the first of hopefully many Teamer Cube drafts. Well, I'm fascinated here. This is the Teamer Cube by Ellie of the Veil. It'll be up for about a week. Oh man, I love Titania. That's pretty banging. Oh, hello, my dear. Hello, my love. Um, Katie's downstairs doing work. And also watching the stream, apparently. Katie, do I take Titania or, or Eugene? I'll scroll over Titania for you. Thank you. Beer man, man, welcome back, buddy. Always good to see you. Cyborg Dewey, thank you for the reset, buddy. All right, I'm going to take Titania. We're going to build around Titania. Phyrexian Triniform. When it dies, it's a 9 9 for 9. When it dies, create three 3-3s. Three and then you can Encore it for 12, which is a lot. Well, everyone's not necessarily the same three colors. Like, some people could be... You could have a blue-green deck. You could have a green-red deck. You could have a red-blue deck. You could have a mono-colored deck. See, the funny thing is I like a lot of these cards. Dak Faden is a banger in. And Vintage Cube. Huh. I might just take Taiga. Yeah, Taiga does seem safe. God, there's so many good cards in here. Like, taking Dak automatically puts us in three colors. I'll take the Taiga. Oh my god, Blightsteel Colossus. Opposition? This cube seems really sweet. I'm like three packs in and it already has like a vintage cube feel to it. Oh, what up, Matthew? No Dak. No pass Dak. <laughs> Oh, boy. I think it's just Birds of Paradise here. I don't think we've got opposition yet. I don't know about taking a steam vent. Oh, Copperline Gorge. Phylath. I kind of just like harmonized, to be honest. Um, could also take Copper Line Gorge. I don't know how good the fixing is going to be. Or how much fixing we're going to need, rather. Yeah, I'm going to take Harmonize. Stream. I think Katie has a question. Ah, oh, there's so many lands. I'm loving it. Should Frank trust me to give him his next haircut? Don't, don't ask the stream. They don't have my best interest in mind. Oh, God. I like Kogla here. Kogla's great. Wow. Oh, dear. Sneak attack. I'm going to take sneak attack. That just seems good. I don't even know. I mean, we saw blight steel. Also, that nine, that nine mana guy that makes three three threes when he dies would be pretty sweet. Man, I, let me tell you something. I love Maelstrom Wanderer. I do kind of like Domri. 
Yeah, I'm going to take Domri here. I don't really feel like going into third color, even though Maelstrom Wander is a banger. I do like Ilharg the Raised Boar. Fires of Invention. I would also try to do a good job. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Um... All right, I'm taking fires for you guys. Ooh, plow under. Interesting. I'm kind of trying to draft this like the vintage cube, and I don't know if that's correct or not. I feel like we're going to learn a lot of lessons. Do like a night pack ambusher. I don't think we're a crew good deck. Wow, he's still going on about the deck. Man, I do his shoot for the moon step and he still gives me a hard time. Unbelievable. Uh, the reason Fires is an Advantage Cube is that it's just not very good. Um, it relies very, very heavily on the number of lands you have in play. And in Vintage Cube, it's not... You're not very likely to have a ton of lands in play. So it's not like you're sneaking in 10, 11, 12, 12 minute creatures. Plus, like, you also can't, like, counter things. Like, there's a lot of... It's more like a mid-range. It's very much a mid-range card, not like a combo or... Let's take Pelucranos, I guess. I'm like avoiding blue cards here. Not intentionally, just in order to not make ourselves be a three-color deck. I think in the Teamer Cube, I think it's probably beneficial to not be all three colors. Genesis Ultimatum does seem like a banger, though. Thank you! Nature's little treasure! What up? I kind of feel like it's Genesis Ultimate. Where are the fetch lands up in here? I want to be Titania-ing. Oh, what up, Sammy? I feel like Genesis Ultimate is too good to pass here. And now I just want to draft all the cards that help me cast it. Oh, Thran Dynamo and Warren Power Stone. Okay, so I'm learning basically what's in this cube right now. Oh, uh, this is literally my first my first cube, yes. Oh god, don't do that thing. Um, neither of these help us cast Genesis Ultimatum. I kind of like just Time Warp here. Mox Opal. Oh yeah. That's terrible. I kind of like Rexage here. 34 months, that's like most of 2020. I don't think that's even half of 2020. I do like Swaggy Bay. I'm just trying to get some cheaper cards that don't cost five mana, my dear. Five mana is a little... I'm a little glutted up on the five mana here. Plus, I bet Swaggy Bay even comes back. No one respects Swaggy Bay.
Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I like a Kiora, actually. Oh, I like a Findhorn Elves. I like a Karn. I like a Vivian. I like a... This pack... These packs are all great, man. Is it Karn? Viv? Oh, you're just naming all the cards in the pack. Sounds good. There's not Findhorn Elves? I feel like it is Karn. I like Song of the Dryads a lot. It's actually in my Vintage Cube. I'm going to take the Botanical Sanctum here. I like Frilled Mystic a lot. We're not a Frilled Mystic deck, though. Maybe just Charter Course. Like, it's just a really solid group. Wow, we could have Frilled Mystic and Mystic Snake? Oh my god, this cube is... This cube is just... So wholesome. I think Chandra is good. We might just be red green. I think it might actually be easier to just be red green. Like I don't think we're I'm super compelled to be blue yet. You gotta play the ultimatum, though. We do have fires. So far, we're not a great sneak attack deck, and we are not a great Titania deck. So, what are you gonna do about that? I fell into a burning ring of fire. Hmm. Questing Beast is a solid gentleman. Lamhold Pacifist is actually pretty sweet. <sighs> Let's stick with the two colors. Let's not go crazy here. <sighs> Champion of Lamhold is actually pretty crazy. Yeah, ultimatum being triple blue is pretty rough. Untap a creature. Crop rotation is pretty sweet with Titania. I think this is still just better. Mm. Take a beast of them. This is the other Sadir is get plus one plus one and you attack with three more we discard a card random if you do draw two cards. Song came back. I'll take a song.
I try to stick to blue green or uh, blue red, red green, and they end up sending me a consecrated sphinx. Interesting. Could just take stomping ground. <sighs> I can't. I don't have the. I don't have the the willpower strong enough to to pass a consecrated sphinx. I do like a failed passage, especially with Titania. Yeah, we're going to take Fabled Passage here. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Pfft. This key was kind of sweet. I'm kind of liking the inclusions here. I'll take a Jace. Breeding pool. Oh, Tropical Island? That's better than a breeding pool. Yeah, I'm taking Tropical Island for sure. I guess we could cut red. Hmm. But I do want to play Genesis Ultimatum, so what then? Plus, this is not a ton of cards. Maybe we splash for the Genesis Ultimatum. I mean, Time Warp Sphinx and Jace are pretty good. <laughs> Everyone who lives in this house is in the chat. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. <sighs> oh, God. There's a Kozilek, which goes quite well with sneak attack. Nexus of Fate is also just a real pain in the ass. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Sammy, Swaggy Bay tip. Draft Swaggy Bay or take Katie out to something for dinner. Either or, I'm not. <laughs> Sammy, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm going to take this causal. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the problem with Loam is that we just don't have a great... We don't have great things to go into the graveyard. Like, so, like, we're not going to... I mean, we have no lands going to the graveyard except for Fabled Passage. Ketria Triome. Ketria me outside. How about that? I also like Edge of Autumn, but I think I'm just taking the fixing here. <laughs> so, Nature's Little Treasure just sent me a message. And this was the message. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's fantastic. I like a Zealous Conscripts. I like a Jade Light Ranger. I like a Mall Drifter. I think I want the Jade Light Ranger. I think I want the earlier picks. Especially ones that can help me get lands. Ooh, Dryad is pretty decent. Wood Elves would have gotten Tropical Island and Taiga, that is true. And I think our land is pretty good. Botanical Sanctum, Passage, Triome, Taiga, Drop. Especially because we're mainly just splashing... I want to say we have light blue splash, but it's all double, 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 double. <laughs> double, 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 triple is what I meant. I also don't know if these two are good enough. If I hit another Eldrazi randomly, if I hit like an Emrakul, I'll definitely play it. Um, none of these are super exciting. Is mana good enough for fires? I don't know actually. I just want nature's claim here. 
I guess we do have Rex Sage and we had something else that did that similar effect, right? We have Ancient Grudge. Beast Within. I'm gonna take Banefire just in case. I don't know why. I mean I don't think I don't think Venge Vine's great for us, so. I made you laugh. Now you have to do it. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. So the original was you and Mike have to sing a little song for every card you pick. They can be the tune of already existing songs, but you should try not to repeat yourself over and over. Every song should be beautiful. And I even have it listed as Juposhi. Yeah, Kolga does too. Actually, we have a ton of artifacts slash enchantment removal here. Song of the Dryads does too. Uh, Mike B will be working. Berserk? I'll take Blue Sun Zenith. Um, man, I really like it. This cube is really kind of sweet. What does Magus of the Mind do? It's just Mind's Desire? That's interesting. Okay, wow, this is really weird. I imagine I imagine Shira Garner's in front of the singing step, yeah. This is 21 cards. Not sure we're sneaking and attacking. We might be fires of inventioning, though. If y'all want to pay me 2k a week, I'll quit tomorrow. Wow, 2k a week. Michael's making 100k a year. I think we had Ancient Grudge and probably Fires of Invention. I kind of like trying Fires. I also don't hate Domri. I want to play Dom Domri over Snapping Gnarled, which I don't even think is that great. Because he just ramps. Like, so if we're on six, we can actually play Genesis or Karn. It also adds red. So this is two, three, four, five, six. Let's go to eight. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can go to ten. Three, four, five, six. That seems great. Six, eight, ten. Sure. My bad, meant 2k every other week, so 4k a month. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, man, Michael's making a lot more than I thought he was. Or he's just asking chat for a significant amount more than he, he, he I thought he was. This bad boy fired up faster than the vintage cube. Have you ever played D&D? I've never actually played D&D. Oh boy. What do we do here? This hand's slow, but I have no idea what to expect from this format. And I like a Jace. And... We don't really have any incentive to crack this, especially with Titanium in our deck. So... Is the Supreme Vintage Cube up right now? And and the answer is no. I'm not a big Supreme Vintage Cube fan. Oh, that's some Larry David. 
I got my curb window up down here. Just keep my curb up. Wow, Mishra's Workshop. Hot diggity. Ancient Grudge. Champion of Lamholt. Well, now we're regretting not... Uh... Hmm. I was going to get a... I mean, second green was the obvious choice because we have double green, double green. Well, at the time we had double green, but... Oh, boy. Lotus Petal, Mox Diamond. Discard Field of Ruin. Okie dokie. Do we think they have a counter? Um, no, I'm just dropping a shit ton of frames right now. I don't know why. My internet just went all fucking weird right now. I think it just stopped. Tezzeret. Tezzerino. Okay. And... 2-2 two, two, Master of Ethereum. Do we put the Ancient Grudge in the main? Nice. Uh, oh, wow. So we can go fires. And I don't know if that's good enough, actually. We do have a Karn, though, which is very exciting. Because we have five, six, seven lands, Birds of Paradise. Hmm. Let's put some cards we don't care about back. Let's put Champion. Let's put Fires and Champion back. Play Passage and crack it for a green. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, Nature's Little Treasure. I actually don't get that reference, unless it's a unless it's a Borat reference. Okay. Six mana. Worm Coil. Frosty T. That's a big one. That's a big one. Tapping my red. You got it. We get to eat this guy? That's very exciting. Interesting. I'll be there to love and to comfort you. I have one card in hand. Oh boy, that's exciting. Um, let's actually put, we'll just put these two back. Play this. Did we play a land? We did. Well, I'll be. That's a cool forest. All right, so now we can just Karn next turn. That's pretty cool, right? It's always a Borat reference. <laughs> My wife. Oh, boy. Hmm. 
main phase of this thing, huh? This is a good hit. Not gonna lie about that. Uh, I don't want these two in the same pile. Or these two, as a matter of fact. I think that's probably fine. I think these two are... Yeah, this is fine. So they took Tinker and Deadeye Navigator. So I have to assume they're going to try to Tinker here. Successfully, I bet. Well, we have a Karn. Okay, that's actually fine. That was certainly not the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually just get rid of Deadeye Navigator here, which is kind of cool. Thank you. We do lose Jace, but we have a Consecrated Sphinx, so that's okay. Rylos, thank you so much for the gifted subs, man. And thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Welcome back. They're waiting on me. That's my bad. I think I blacked out. I think we are going to lose Jace, but I mean, that's just a, that's a price of doing business, really. Oh, what up, Cream Sickle? You can't hide anymore. <laughs> I was like, I was definitely tapped. I was like, oh, oh. Um, yeah, okay, so we can just. I'm just going to keep exile exiling cards from their hand. Ding, 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 ding. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to play this so we can keep up Scrib Ranger. Oh, yeah. This game looks like it's... I feel like having a Karn and a Consecrated Sphinx on the board is pretty pretty solid for... What? We got rid of you. Wow. Shuffling is hard. You can play both your cards? Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. We actually should have known that. We forgot that that was in their hand. We being me, not you guys, of course. That would be crazy. Yep, that's fine. Can we... Oh, we can almost restart the game. Unfortunately, no way to put lands into the graveyard, huh? Whenever a landing control is put in a graveyard from the battlefield, make a 5-3. 
Oh, we can get Fabled Passage back. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. This is what living the dream feels like. <laughs> oh god, sorry. I don't think I could have cleared that. Uh, Karn can take one. I think that's probably fine. Any brain come out? No, thank thankfully, no. Most of my brain's already out. This is, as far as I know, the first kind of teamer cube. Yeah, there's been a Grixis cube before. But I'm pretty sure those are the only shard slash um, wedge slash con cubes. Imagine how dull a Naya cube would be. That's actually kind of funny. I wonder if it's it's interesting that you can like look at the different cubes or look at the different shards and be like, how how boring of a cube would this be? And that's an interesting way to kind of like Okay, well, that's pretty good. Um Well, I guess we're going to attack here. That guy seems big. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll that'll do it. That'll that'll end the game. All right. So we have Kogla, Ancient Grudge, and Rex Sage, and we didn't see any of them. That's unfortunate. I was also thinking Bant would be okay. I think Esper could probably be deep enough. I think it's funny because I think I think the cubes that have blue in them, the the wedges or shards that have blue in them, um, they have a lot more depth. This should, I should not keep this hand, but I did. And that's okay. Sometimes you make mistakes, you know? Sometimes you do things that you shouldn't do because you see a Consecrated Sphinx and you think this Ancient Grudge is going to hold them off. And if you get a red, it just might. But you didn't, and that's okay. You don't need a red every time. You can just play green sources. Okay. Okay, we're looking we're looking rough. Yeah, you get that blue. Scribby boys. Actually kinda like that. Man, Scribber is actually surprisingly good against the mono blue deck, it seems. Boo 
Gonna block your guy. I mean, if they're only porting us and not adding to their board in any, any meaningful way, that's okay. This is actually kind of funny because they still can't hit the Scrub Ranger. Oh, you're just going to hit my island. Well, that's real mature. I actually targeted myself as if, like... Uh, sure. I targeted myself as if, like, it was ancestral. Damn, dog, I haven't hit that Scrub since college. Hit that scrib. Yep, you got it. Oh, yeah, flip. Big flips. What are we doing here? Sure. Just keeping me off them islands, brah. They gotta have counter spells in their deck, right? Apparently not. Now it's time to take back the game. They have four cards. I don't know what they are. Scrib Ranger OP. You wanna you wanna duplicate it? All right, you got it. No attacks. No spells. Nothing. Not even a tap. Thank you. Rosie O'Donnell, thank you so much for the resub, Rosie O'Donnell. I appreciate you. Is this going to resolve? I don't even know. They didn't re they they let this resolve, so I don't really understand what's happening right now. I didn't want to play Consecrated Sphinx cuz they do like duplicate in hand, they just get to kill it. Why didn't they play Ensnaring Bridge? What is happening right now? Cyclonic Rift. Yep, that's pretty good. Let's get rid of Fires. And... Taiga? Hmm. So we need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Block here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're actually dead here. We could bounce this. Block here. And then they tap down the Lambhole Pacifist. Yeah, that's rough. Dryden Pacifist doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think we're one mana shy. Oh, yeah, actually... Well, no, we don't. We don't have the mana for... We don't have the mana, guys. 
Wait, one, two. Yes, we do. We can go. No, we don't have second blue. Yeah, you guys are you guys are really bad at this game. <laughs> we don't have second blue. We don't have enough mana to play Lamhole Pacifist and Song of the Dryads. So I'm pretty sure we're actually just dead here. Song here, play pacifist, block here, untap this. Okay, all right, now we're talking. All right, we got a turn, maybe. Now we're talking, now we're talking. We have six, yes, but if you target Frost Titan, you have to pay an extra two, so you need seven. Ding, ding, ding. All right. This is actually very good if it works. But I feel like they're doing something here. I feel like this is probably too good to be true. We know they have... Well, now we don't know anything, I guess. Oh, boy. Exile a creature. Sure. But we still get to block. And we still get to eat the Palladium Mirror. I mean, that was pretty good. You're tapping a forest. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't Karn, just have to Jace. Which is fine. Okay. Well, I don't know how we're alive, but... Frost Titan? Oh yeah, who saw that guy coming? Red source one time. You got it. They're really, really hounding me here. Well, that's kind of a red source. Oh, those are red sources. Okay, so we're gonna put, <laughs> we're gonna put consecrated Genesis and chart a course back. Well, we're gonna put Karn and consecrated back anyway. Wait, we don't have two red sources, do we? We don't untap this. We untap the creature when we return this. So, okay. I guess we'll play Consecrated Sphinx Birds of Paradise. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put Sphinx back. Put Forest back. Play a red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
We are at two, and I'm kind of like, yeah, it's Scrib, Scrib Sprites, Scrib Ranger has been MVP this round. Lotus Petal, you got one card in hand. Oh god. Nine mana. Inkwell Leviathan? This is an X spell. Okay. It's pretty good. What do you put back on top? Cyclonic Rift, huh? Well, that's pretty good. I mean, we're gonna actually plus Jason get rid of that. That's not gonna that's not gonna hold up in court. Put on the bottom, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cruel Tomatum. Let's play Consecrated Sphinx. Dryad, Jane Light, Fabled Mountain. Done. Um I'll put this guy on top. Wait, why did it only, did it only explode? Oh, we hit a land. Wait, what happened? How did wait? What happened? I put it on top, right? Revealing Rex Sage. I did put it on top. Oh, I did a land, and then the Rex Sage was second. I almost yeah. I was like, "What's going on?" We have 10 cards in our library. This is going to draw us two. This is going to draw us two. Well. YOLO. Oh, yeah. Kind of glad we didn't... Uh, we didn't sack our Fabled Passage. I will draw two more, sure. Um... No, I'm going to decline. I guess it doesn't matter. They have blue sun zenith. If they blue sun zenith us, what is this? One, two, yep, I think they're just, I think they just literally, oh, palancron. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. They used all their blue mana. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, man. I mean, they had 7, 8, 9, 10. So they could have literally blue sun zenith us for, t for 7. And that would have killed us too. So I can't think of another X spell in mono blue slash colorless that would have gotten us. But I don't think I like fires here. It is really windy out there. I, don't, I actually might like Locust God. We also draw a lot of cards, and it's pretty sweet with Jace. Wow, it is really windy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, babe, that wind is wild. <laughs> I feel like our house is going to blow away. Well, we did. We drew the Locust God, but only one land. Oh, yeah, this is a Snapperino. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. I just imagine Watson and Wally just blowing away. Ooh. Well, I like a turn two dryad into land. You gonna daze me? Force spike? It's just a dryad. Force of will? Force of negation? Pact of negation? Or just let it resolve? I don't know if I guess this is never gonna resolve. Oh there good. They they got it. They figured it out. I mean if they're gonna counter something else, I'd rather them counter this than Jace. But they did not. If they're going to count something, I'd rather them count this than Jace. Okay. Oh, boy. We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Draw three cards, put two landy boys back. Put an island and a f f mountain back. Play Fabled Passage, crack that dude. I'm going to get another mountain here because that's what we need for Genesis Ultimatum. How does Bustin make me feel? Bustin makes me feel good. Oh, see, this is what we were, this is exactly what we're talking about here. Six, seven. They didn't have a counter spell for Plowander, and they drew two lands, so... Um, Jade Light, Champion, Botanical. Uh, top. Top. And you can get a counter. Alright, well, next turn we have Time Warp into Karn. Okay. Bustin, 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 bustin. Okay, this is a good game. Everybody, both sides played hard. We talk about practice, man. What are we even talking about? We just talk about practice. We we just talking about practice. I kind of like Chandra in this matchup. We'll take out Kogla for Chandra for now. 
I'm also going to add one more, one more Montagna. We're just talking about practice. Damn, plow order is dirty because of all the dirt from from the plow. You get it. <laughs> yeah. Man, we ain't even talking about real game. We just talking about practice. I mean, what are we even talking about here? Practice? We just talking about practice. This seems okay. That was a good multi six that we did last game. I don't know if you guys were here for it. You can see it. It was good. Bomat courier. Mon what what? <laughs> Thermono blue deck turned Thank into a red deck. Brett, I don't understand, buddy. You are amazing. Brett, you're fucking awesome, dude. Thank you. For the gifted subs. Thank you. I appreciate you, my dude. Brett, we just talking about practice. Oh, so their mono blue deck turned into a Thank mono you. red deck. Well, that's utterly fascinating. I have no idea what to make of that. Thank you. Bully subs. <laughs> hey, buddy, listen, I'm just playing the cards that are dealt to me. That's how magic works, right? Thank you. Oh, they did nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good for us. Let's ramp. You think they're going to force a will this? You think their hand is full of blue cards? And they just, oh, their hand is literally full of blue cards and they just don't have the mana for it? What is even happening, dude? I literally thought they boarded into a mono red deck. Okie dokie. If I can draw a green here, that'd be great. We can go we can go Pelucranos into Plow. Into Chandra. Like this is a sick hand. Okay. Guess you're bouncing that guy. They have one card in hand? Are they drawing three? No. Hmm. Oh, busted makes me feel good. I'm gonna give him another card. You're just gonna ionize that. Okay. You got it. What do they pitch to Force of Will? Search for Azconta. They could sack this and hit something, but their odds of hitting something that costs one blue is pretty low. Although I imagine they are going to draw four here. That seems... They did not draw four there. We do not have... The mana... Yeah, they're going to draw four, but they got to discard whatever nonsense was in their hand. It was just an island. Okay, okay, I see what's happening now. 
Boy, this looks much better before they hit the blue. I mean, you bounce this guy and attack. It is very simple. Although if we hit a land, any land, except for Ketria Triome or Botanical Sanctum, but any other land, dude, it is so windy outside, it's pretty wild. I don't know why this isn't green. I know it's not a green card, but it's still a forest. Remember when I was like, any time, any land that's not this. Going to six here. Are they an aggro deck or control? I don't know. Counterburn? I hope they try to counter this. Please try to counter this. I'm begging you. It's actually quite common for people to try to counter this. It doesn't happen frequently enough. Non-elementals, huh? You're a jellyfish? Sounds good. It's actually for overall to manage rain. Oh, manage rain's in this cube. That's kind of sweet. Okay, well, that's... That's something. Chain lighting Chandra. Sounds good. Nope. So, I one, two, three, four, five. Don't... I'm one mana shy. No, two mana shy. One, two... Just gonna go get a forest here. Okay, so they're gonna draw a mountain island. And now we get to go pacifist. And that was mountain. So basically time walked them, unless the last card was very, very good. And of course it was. <laughs> That's fucking unbelievable. Oh, I did hit two mountains. I don't think it matters, but... My cat is killing my fingers right now as I'm trying to type. Well, maybe you shouldn't be typing. Did you ever think about that, smart guy?
I'll keep this hand. Remember that first game where we went Birds of Paradise into Dryad into Jace? Okay. Hey, I heard you were going to do a 48 hour of distraction stream next week. God, I feel like we might need it. Also, I could turn one of their lands into a forest. What do you got? One red? I'll take you off that red. Ionize. That's fine. It's okay if you expect it. No, oh, force spike. Wow. Now I know. Distraction from what? Oh man. <laughs> Perhaps you haven't heard of the U.S. United States of America. Goblin, Rebellia, Mastaro. So next we can play Locust Gone. That's interesting. Huh. That card's good. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to have to see what you reveal. <laughs> Make America go. It'll. We're trying. We're really trying here. Yep. So I think this is going to die. And then we get it back. Seems good. So you got Force of Will. That was what you revealed. Seems good. I think their deck looks terrible. And actually it's, it's trouncing us because of all the cheap and free counter spells. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy's getting countered, but. Wow. <laughs> Pitched Force of Negation to fucking Force of Will. Super cool. Super cool. Revealing Chain Lightning. So take three, take another three. Let's go to Chandra. Oh, right off the top. Tropical Island. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if only our whole hand didn't cost five. Ooh. I wish I could float this three mana. Float, float, float. And then we go Fabled Passage. One, two, three, four, five. Titania. Oh, we should have definitely cracked this. Yeah, that was pretty bad. We just missed a land.
Yeah, we could have one more land and play one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could have actually played Plow under this turn. Okay, that's that's game winning. Or game losing, I guess, for us. Chain lightning that. Well, that was cool. Thanks for the free chain lightning. One hundred percent trade with this guy. One time, something good. That's not gonna do it. One, two, three, five. Cycle one, two, three. Yep. All right, that's gonna be the game. Fucking a million lands. We have eight. We have seventeen lands, right? I don't know how to put like twenty lands in the deck. Okie dokie. Sorry, guys. You guys want to go to the bathroom? Do it on your own time, okay? Unbelievable. Tell CF Battle they can go potty. You know what? If you really got to go. Okay. We're playing Sknurus McQuox. It's a hell of a name right there, my dude. It's like almost deafeningly loud outside. Okay, our man our mana base is significantly better than that than the lands we've been drawing. Yep, that's not good. Going to five here, I guess. Wow, this deck seemed great in game one. Absolute terrible in the next two. We're going to ship Ancient Grudge and Sphinx here, I think. Oh, no, cancel that. Dang it. Ancient Grudge and Sphinx. Done. Ideally, this will hit us lands. Oh, they went to five, too? Thank you! Okay, I feel a little better about that. Especially if they're like some red aggro deck. That's decent it's gonna be an island it's gonna be a harmonize that's pretty good undreamt tuna oh my god doth mine eyes deceive me welcome back buddy thank you so much for the release sub i really appreciate you okay well that that demulligan to them i guess well they can play abbott next turn or they can play collective defiance we can do nothing No, nah, it me. <laughs> okay. They, okay. Sure. 
to get a free Zergo out of it. It was a good deal. They have been uh, doing doing well for themselves here. Double blue card. Sounds good. Nope. Graveyard. And graveyard. Okay. Zero lands. Well. Nope. We have 17 lands, a Bird of Paradise, a Dryad of the Elysian Grove, all kinds of things. All kinds of beautiful things. The only thing we can play next turn is Harmonize if we hit a land, or Chart of Course if we hit an island. Oh boy. <laughs> what an absolute fucking shit show. That's incredible. Yep, 1-1 one, one Lamb Holt Elder is not going to really do it here. Okay, let's take out Locust God. Take out Plow Under. Just bring in a bunch of, bunch of Dirtles. I guess Rexage still is a beater. And Chandra's got to go to the Kogla. Or Sphinx, actually. And actually, we'll cut one island. <laughs> oh my god! You know what? I'm going to keep it because we got Charter Course and maybe we can just discard something. To hit a green. Or maybe we could just hit a green on turn two. Maybe that maybe that's what'll happen. Uh I don't think we have a I don't think we have an ultra aggro deck is the problem. Hmm, I see. Wow, that's insane. <sighs> Literally, don't forget we didn't cut any green sources, so we still have ten green sources in the deck. Forest here would be nice. We can play Lambhold Pacifist. I'll take a Botanical Sanctum as well. Pins and needles here. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I mean, there's no world where I don't block this. Like, if you want a two-for-one, sure. Yep, that's fine. One, two, three, Domri. Add a green. Play a Scrib Ranger. Domri's actually pretty decent here. It gives us the double green we need. Yeah, that's fine. That also gives us the double green we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might just night pack ambusher as a non blocker. Nah, fighting just doesn't do anything. I mean, we're just going to play Night Pack Ambusher and ideally block. Are you going to kill my little scribby? That's really sad that you did. They have two cards. That seems fine. Sure. You got it. Kogla.
I mean, we can actually attack next turn and kill the Experimental Frenzy, so that's kind of cool. Chrome Mox. Shut up and take Seems my money! Good. Screw your planes, screw your tanks, and screw your ships. I got me a train, lads. See ya, JPEG. J J I, wow, that was amazing. And Phil, you, I think you went crazy. Okay, now I've seen Chromox and the other guys, so now I'm just bringing in Rexage again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten, ten green sources. When the dude reads the speech, it sounds like a train. But <laughs> I don't have that on. Oh, biscuits. Actually, yeah, that seems fine. We can cut Genesis Ultimator. Do we have any other cheap creatures? Fanatical Firebrand might be decent. I think I'd rather have Firebrand the Ancient Grudge here, to be quite honest. Like, it shoots Abbot of Carol Keep. It shoots lots of things, I guess. Plus, we also have a lot of artifact slash enchantment removal in here so I'm gonna keep this it's not super fast but ideally we'll draw we have two turns to draw a one a, like a two drop so that seems okay fanatical firebrand would also be sweet here because now we can kill this guy Okay, gotta land. Skewer the critics me for three. You got it. Oh, that was very good. <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's your play for the turn. Pretty sure we 100% block here. If they want to spend their turn either pumping this guy, that's totally fine. That's what's known as a time walk, kids. Oh, we just win the game. 2-1 in our very first Teamer Cube. This is pretty sweet. I'm actually uh, I'm actually a fan of it so far. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch. Be sure to subscribe if you want to support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It's a great way to uh, help a content creator who literally uh, solely makes content for a living. So thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Head on over to twitch.tv slash and... Uh, Consider subscribing if you can. I'll see you next time.